What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gamer, bringing the next part of Kona. Safe, ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. All right, guys, so I'm going to jump right back into Kona. I'm going to be going to the, the wall. I got my skidoo, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. So I had to leave the truck because the, I guess the Northern Passage, I won't be able to use my, my truck to go. So I'll meet you at the first good thing I find on the new track. So let's go. Okay, we're at the ice wall. So from here, it's all, it's all uh, new. So actually, I have to get off my... I want to look at the map, I have to get off. That sucks. So there is a ranger tower and then there's that path. So we'll keep going down the path and and go from there, I guess. <laughs> Another diary. Carl felt like someone was trying to communicate with him. Or was it simply the result of happenstance? Oh, okay. Mysterious Journal B. The beast has outwitted me. It's aware that I know all of its witnesses. It, it is aware of my strength. It is predator become prey. Through some no, unknown forces, was able to create a wall made of ice between north and south. The beast did not want to be disturbed. I, I have found a way. It is, it is my destiny to stop it. It's progressing fast, not, not stopping even for a moment. When the beast, what is the beast feeding on? Hate, cold, fear. The other spoke of the Windigo. They said it would be it would never return. No word they said no warrior they said would want to invoke it. The elders were wrong. The Windigo came come from the great spirit. It appears it's full of hate, with a great thirst of vengeance. The beast I'm tracking seems to be blinded by hate. Frustrated. My bolt missed it. I screamed. I thought I could hear his voice behind the bellowing of a beast of the beast. Sorry, the warrior's voice. Was it really the beast running from me? Or the man made a prisoner inside? It's tracking two unfortunate white people already doomed. It smelled them. It's moving slowly, methodically. I will not reach them in time. Perhaps the thirst for vengeance will never be satisfied. Perhaps the beast is unable to reach its intended victim. What if it started to heat to head south? What if it started terrorizing white cities? They would... They would turn to us with planes and bomb, and they would de decimate our people. White people think only they are allowed to strike. The beast must be stopped. All right, makes sense. I need fire. All right, let's grab a. We'll draw some. Of course. Deposit. What can I deposit here? Thank God I loaded my truck with a a bunch of wood. That really helps. All right, so we're here. This is the camp. Okay, I'm not even there yet. This hunt was never ending. Carl hoped that the hunter had finally triumphed over the beast. Hmm. Alright, so, uh... Let's get back on track here, then. Let's get back on track. What is this? Observation tower. Ooh. All right. Get out. The door was unlocked. Carl felt kind of disappointed that he wouldn't have to solve the mystery of that bad luck. <laughs> oh. Cool. That's way better. There's a bear trap. I need a log to open a fire. Carl reckoned that the place was still inhabited less than 24 hours ago. Mm -hmm. His detective sense tingled, revealing to him 
Or was it the strong smell of wilderness in the air? <laughs> that there were most likely two men. What a good detective. Is there not any uh, lanterns here I can turn on? There should be a rifle hanging there. Its owner may not be very far. Stop, the Alexander. jacket was still soaking wet. The poor man had, surely unwillingly, had a taste of the pond's water not too long ago. According to the pay stub, that poor man was Alexandre Blé. Two blankets. There were doubtless two people here, Carl reckoned. Mm-hmm. There's the lantern. Okay, no, it's just a lantern for me. I, I didn't really need one, but... Alright. Letter. Letter for Pierre. Pierre. I just wanted to remind you that there were there were there there are rules. Rules that are meant to be followed. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. I hear that you've been poaching a lot lately. That you don't even care about being discreet anymore. Heck. I don't even have a chance to pretend I don't see you these days. If I continue to turn a blind eye on this, what will people say? You've you've gone too far f far this time, buddy. I have to find you, Wilfred. Next letter. Pierre the Poacher Ble was definitely not the one who lived here. Indeed, Carl learned earlier that the man had recently been shredded to death by allegedly beasts. Uh, Pierre, I thought I told you you went too far. You really hit the last straw this time. Everyone knows it's you. My friendship with your brother won't save your skin anymore. If you dare touch a single tough of fur within my jurisdiction, jurisdiction, I swear you'll regret it. Like the the nice hunting cabin of yours, eh? I think I'm hanging a huge padlock on it on its door. Would be pretty don't would be pretty, don't you think? Point is, if you don't, if you keep on going, you'll be, you'll be the one behind padlock and bars. The country is jailed in the way. Take heed, buddy. Really take heed, Wilfred. There another one? Nope, that's all. Alright, so. No gun in the gun rack. We're all good here. Cigarettes. Alright, I think, uh, I think we're... Skin wolf pelt left here to dry. And there's a lot of them, that's for sure. Okay, I think uh, I think I went around here. All right, let's keep going. One, 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 one. Oh shit! Uh. Okay, let's go over here. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. Whew. Ah, fuck. I need, I need to check my map here. I'm way off course. Son of a bitch.
God damn. Let's just grab the rifle just in case here. With this many bolts fired, the beast now had to have been pierced through and through. What the fuck is this? Uh, where am I? Okay. Two more victims of this ice plague. Carl felt a chill down his spine. What if he was next? Oh, that's fun. At least if I didn't if, if I didn't catch the rifle. The sanctuary, eh? Carl felt the strong pull of a vision overcome him. God damn it. A simple hunting accident. God damn. Hmm. There was Hamilton. Carl recognized him. A major hunting accident. Hmm. The doctor examined the young woman. A death couldn't be overturned. Hmm. She was dead. Oh no. the type of body you buried in a big ceremony in the village graveyard. It had to be hidden. No one could know about this. Except me. The best way to do that was to have a simple-minded man bury the poor girl. Lamotte, the mechanic. <laughs> Who that? The course. doctor denied the unfair death of the young woman, but Hamilton had him in his grip. Hamilton knew all of the poet's secrets and wouldn't hesitate to reveal them. I know all about your crimes, you little communist. You know mine. What a sordid affair. Hmm. Okay. It is revealed to us. Carl understood the ins and outs of the affair. A woman had been killed in an unfair accident, and a young warrior had damned himself to avenge her. The murderer. But Hamilton. The one responsible had already been killed, oh, and fuck. so the beast could not quench its thirst for vengeance. And now, recklessly, Carl had pulled the bolt from the beast's heart. A beast who was but a young Cree man lost without his fiancée, uh, and who had, out of hatred, become Wendigo. Run! Oh dear God. Uh, 
tools, tools. No. You son of a bitch. Equipment. God damn it. Run! <laughs> Fuck me. Uh... Oh, I needed all my first aid kits, huh? Uh, consumables. Cigarettes would probably not a good idea. Bulletproof, yeah, okay. Oh my god, am I gonna make it? Jesus Christ. Shit. Help. Oh my god, help me. Jesus Christ. No. Oh my god. The narrow passage sheltered him, but for how long? Probably not for too long. Oh my fucking god, man. Why did I remove that fucking arrow from him? Alright, we're at a train yard. Where do we go? Where do we go?
Must be climbing on the train somewhere. God damn it. Oh no, he caught me. Please, no. <laughs> no. Are you gonna freeze me to death? God damn it. My nerves are just going down like you wouldn't imagine. Get on here. Later. <laughs> you can't swim, you fucking frozen bitch. All right. When you disappeared, Ooh. so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. All right. Could it be that all this was but a story of justice and vengeance? The soulful doctor, avenging his fiancée's unjust death by avenging this young woman as though she was his lover. Are these passionate feelings not precisely the kind of feelings that could cause a storm, petrify people deep inside, create monsters? All right. Oh, that was it? Oh. All right. That was pretty cool. I didn't know I was going to end finish it today. Oh. It's not over. Better not see a swimming wind go there. Oh, another boat. Hello? Cool. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys. In All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this game. That was a really fun game. Uh, I wasn't waiting for that type of ending. Uh, it sucks because all the north of the map. I feel like we, we didn't we didn't even have a chance to explore it. Uh, I still have. Um, uh, what else did I have to do? I had the uh, oh fuck, what the, the the treasure maps to go look for, and I think there was a couple more things, but I'm not sure. I might do that on my spare time instead, so because you guys probably had enough. I think um, this is the like the seventh part or something like that. I'm not sure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Of course, if you enjoyed, tell me your comments below what you thought of the game. This game was pretty fucking fun. I have to say, I really enjoyed it. Uh, not only the fact that it takes place in my province that I that I live in, but uh, just like the the atmosphere of the game, like the the solving of the puzzles are very fun to do. Uh, and yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for watching. Follow me everywhere: me time gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here youtubecom slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Totally forgot to say that. I don't know why I'm a bit of. Uh, confused and tired right now so <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video keep on keeping on